Morning Copper Basin. Today is Monday, October 17th. I'm Ivy. I'm Kobe. On today's show, we'll be talking about a 9-11 caller, some TCU students, and 2016 Nobel Prize. So let's get the show started. While swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome. No walls, no while swimming in the ocean, pretty big and pretty wide. After hanging up mid on mid-sentence on a caller, a Houston 911 caller center operator had was heard to record saying, ain't nobody got time for this for real. According to the charge documents, that call center operator identified as Cassandra w Williams was arrested and charged after illegally hanging up on what could be thousands of emergency callers according to documents. Now to weather. Today's weather is sunny, highs in the 70s to lower 80s, light winds, tonight most clear, patchy fog, possibly late lows in the 40s to mid 50s, light winds, Tuesday, sunny highs in the upper 60s to lower 80s, light winds, Tuesday night, most clear lows in the 50s to lower 60s, light winds, now the world news of Matthew. The 2016 Nobel Prize in Literature has been awarded to American singer and songwriter Bob Dylan for having created new poetic expressions within the great American song tradition. The Swedish Academy's permanent secretary, Sarah Danius, said Dylan, 75, is a great poet in the English-speaking tradition. She drew parallels between his work and that of ancient Greek poets. World Fact of the Day, James Madison, our fourth president, weighed less than the average American teenage girl. Madison was only 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighed under 100 pounds. That's all for World Sport is Cleveland State Community College, a quality education in my hometown, but preparing me to go anywhere or do anything. Life-changing, where the impossible is made possible. A college where faculty members really know their stuff. It's a degree that is kind to my wallet. I was relieved to save so much money. Best of all, they're practically in my own backyard. Come experience Cleveland State Community College. Cleveland State is everything. Sports. I'm Matthew. I'm Teddy. Baseball in October is on another level sometimes. What went down at Nationals Park in the Dodgers 4-3 victory over the Nats on Thursday night in Game 5 of the National League Division Series? Well, that was almost incompre incomprehensible and it's total absur absurdity. To close out the game, they called in starting ace Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw had already started games 1 and 4 and came into pitch for the last two innings to advance them to the NLCS. Tennessee Volunteers played the Alabama Crimson Tide on Saturday and came out with a final score of 49-10. to 10. So, Teddy, do you have anything to say about that game? Well, Alabama still be better than us and still have that winning streak and beat us bad. So, yeah, defense is still better and Nick Saban's still the best coach. So, yeah. And Vandy beat Georgia and Athens. Yeah, Vanderbilt did beat Georgia. That, on, I, home I like, on homecoming. Yeah, I laughed about that. I, so. I, I, I laughed about yeah. that for quite a bit. Yeah. That's all for sports now on Hannah. For today's lunch and lunch, what is grilled chicken, trimmings, red curly fries, vegetarian beans, fruit cocktail, fresh apples. And lunch two is hamburger, trimmings, baked fries, baby carrots, mixed fruit. Tomorrow's breakfast and lunch one is bacon, egg, cheese, biscuit. And lunch two is cereal bar and yogurt. That's all for lunch and breakfast, not the local news. I'm a gummy bear, yes I'm a gummy bear Oh I'm a yummy, tummy, funny, lucky gummy bear I'm a jelly bear, cause I'm a gummy bear A 19 year old was found in the parking lot of 2205W Heen Men Street with a gunshot wound to the head the shooting was reported after 1 a.m. at the House of God's Church property, used as a dorm for some TSU students. The victim was transported to the Vanderbilt Hospital with life-threatening injuries. He was not a student. The suspect is said to be in a black Chevy Impala and has golden tips at the end of his hair. Now to our sponsors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today on trial we have modern day schooling.
Well, the time has come, no more excuses. I call school to the stand and accuse him of killing creativity, individuality, and being intellectually abusive. Exhibit A, here's a modern day phone. Recognize it? Here's a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today, and here's a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Well, get this. Here's a classroom of today, and here's a class we used 150 years ago. Now, ain't that a shame? He's an ancient institution that has outlived his usage. So, Your Honor, this concludes my opening statement, and if I may present the evidence of my case, I will prove it. Proceed. In literally more than a century, nothing has changed. Yet you claim to prepare students for the future? But with evidence like that, I must ask, do you prepare students for the future or the past? I did a background check on you and let the record show that you were made to train people to work in factories, which explains why you put students in straight rows, nice and neat, tell them sit still, raise your hand if you want to speak, give them a short break to eat, and for eight hours a day, tell them what to think. Oh, and make them compete to get an A. A letter which determines product quality, hence grade A of meat. I get it. Back then, times were different. We all have a past. I myself am no Gandhi. But today, we don't need to make robot zombies. The world has progressed. And now we need people who think creatively, innovatively, critically, independently with the ability to connect. October is this <laughs> star. <laughs> the seniors are in the lead in October, by the way. Um, now week's test is Friday. ACT retake is Saturday. Uh, the clubs, we still have those. So I've announced those over and over. <laughs> yeah. We've um, those enough. We, we still have the email. And it's Austin Collis and uh, one other's birthday. Uh, I forget. Uh, we don't have a script, so um, that's that's all we have for today. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow on CBGB News. Fine.